Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Today is a recovery day post game. This was something that was requested from one of you guys in the comments below in one of my past videos a few weeks ago. So I thought I would give you uh, that video. So today I'm going to walk you through three most important things that uh, during the recovery day post game. One is nutrition, two is hydration, and three is active recovery. So right now it is 5.53 in the morning. You might be wondering why the hell are you up so early right after a game, especially on a Sunday morning. And sometimes my brain just works that way and doesn't want to sleep that well. So I'm just going to get up and go to the gym. Plus I've got a busy day today. So I'm going to go to the gym, get some active recovery on the bike, some stretching, some PT exercises, and then I've got a routine in the sauna and the ice bath that I will outline for you guys when I get back. Um, unfortunately, I can't film in this particular gym, so I'll just explain everything when I get home. It's a great way to get recovery in and it'll really help set me up for recovery for the rest of the day. So let's hop into it guys, hope you enjoy, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Hey, what's going on guys? So just finished up at the gym, got a great workout in. And so at the gym today, I did 10 minutes on the bike and then I did a set of recovery exercises. I had bands around just above my knee and on my ankle, did monster walks, sideways walks, some Copenhagen exercises, which is one that I showed in two videos ago for the groin, and then a couple different groin exercises to make sure my groin stays strong uh, post-injury. And then I did some core work, and then I sat in the sauna for about 15 minutes and ice bath. So that's it. That's the only kind of quote unquote workout that I'm gonna be doing today. I will be getting some breakfast in now and then sitting in my boots before my U11 team plays at 11 and uh, so good luck to them I hope they do really well today and yeah so that's gonna be kind of the start of my morning the only reason that I woke up super early this morning number one was because I couldn't really sleep uh, but number two is because I have to get the workout done before the gym closes and because of COVID the gym usually is only open from 6 to noon on weekends which means that I need to get that workout in beforehand and then do the rest of my stuff later on in the day. So I'll walk you guys through that, get some breakfast now. I think I'm gonna have some uh, ground beef and eggs and then we'll get in with the rest of the day. Here we go. All right guys, so breakfast is some beef, probably about six ounces of ground beef, then a half a sweet potato and four eggs with some sriracha sauce. So this is pretty typical for me. Turn that fan off. Pretty typical for me, especially on off days because I wanna get as much protein in as possible in order to have my muscles recover well. And then a little bit of carbs in the morning just because it gets me going for the rest of the day. So I've got about, about an hour until I have to leave for my U11 game, hour, hour and a half, um, which gives me enough time to sit in the boots as well. So I'm gonna eat and then sit in the boots and get after it.
All right, guys, that is it for recovery for now. I have the game. I have to leave in about 10, excuse me, 10 minutes. So I will take you guys along with me. I've got the U11 game, and then I think I'm actually going to go up to the women's first team game way up north. Um, but since I'm on my way anyway, it makes sense, and I'd love to go support them. So as far as recovery goes, I've had about 64 ounces of fluid already today. So four, four to six glasses of water, I suppose. And then had the breakfast this morning. I'll eat a good lunch in town. I'm gonna go grab some chicken and rice, something really easy for lunch, which I'll show you. And then when I get back from the game, I'll be editing the video, sitting in these again, and then probably doing some massage gun and rolling out. So that's kind of the plan for my recovery day, especially when I've gotta be all over the place with games and other things. Hey, what's going on guys? We just finished our game, the U11s. We were down 3-0 in the first 10 minutes of the game, came back at half to 2-3, and then we ended up winning the game 6-5. So huge shout out to my U11 team. I know some of you guys are watching this video, so you guys did so well today. I'm really proud of you guys uh, up here in Perth. And yeah, just a fantastic game to watch. Some of the patterns that we had been working on in training this past week have really paid off. So I'm really, really proud of the kids and they did super well. So the plan for the rest of the day from here, I'm going to drive to the women's game hopefully grab a bite to eat or something on the way and then I will be up at the women's game from about two to four and then I'll be home doing editing on this video and uh, making sure that I'm doing some more recovery stuff I might actually take an ice bath tonight as well so but I'll show you that later in the video all good What's going on guys? So just finished up at the women's game. I left at about the 65 minute mark. They were losing 1-0, which is a bummer, but oh well. Um, it's absolutely pouring down rain. I hope you can see that, all right? Uh, so I am going to enjoy a dry ride home. I'm a little wet, but not bad because they had big grandstands with a cover and everything so yeah fantastic time watching the women play it's always great to support them and to watch them get after it and uh, the rest of the day is pretty easy I'm gonna be editing and stuff so might end the video a little bit early tonight just so I can get some rest but I'll see you guys at home hey what's going on guys Ooh. hello I am very tired I'm hitting that point in the middle of the day where I haven't had a nap and so I'm just Absolutely exhausted. Um, my room is a mess, so I'm gonna clean up a little bit and then get an early dinner, I think, because I have some work to do editing this video and then also make sure that everything is set up for the week because I've got a busy week with business meetings and all that stuff, So and training, obviously, as well. So making sure that I'm organized on Sundays is always an absolute must for me. And let's see, what else is going on? As far as recovery goes, I know today's been kind of boring as far as what I've done for recovery other than the gym session, which unfortunately I wasn't able to show you guys. Um, but some of the exercises are really, really easy to do. All you need is those elastic bands and a uh, foam roller and uh, some sort of bench or something. You can do it on your bed too for the Copenhagens. So they're really, really simple. If you have access to a bathtub, you can do ice bath there. Really great. Obviously the mnemonic compression device, I would recommend foam rolling as well. Actually, I will probably do my own foam rolling at some point tonight and make sure you're drinking a lot, lots of protein intake, lower carb intake, and you should be set. So hopefully that gives you an idea of what I'll do for after games. It's gonna depend kind of on the day. Um, unfortunately, I can't sit still both literally and because of my schedule. Um, so me as a person, I'm always energetic and I'm always up and all over the place. So I have to really be intentional about the way that I go about recovering. Um, and then as far as my schedule goes, because Sundays are when my U11s play and the women play, I tend to be, and then I have um, some friends who play on Sundays as well. So I'm kind of all over the place and editing videos and filming and all that stuff. So. Um, but whatever works for you is the best way. So if you need a day where you're totally flat on your back all day, then that's what works for you. And if you're somebody who wants to go for a walk or 
uh, a light jog, do that, make sure you stretch. But what I wouldn't do is go out and try and lift or train the day after your game because um, depending on how much you run, I mean, even, even goalkeepers get beat up. So I would take that day post game and recover well and I think you guys should be good. So I am going to make some food. I'll show you guys what I eat in just a little bit after I clean up my room and then I'll get into some editing stuff and I'll just set you guys up and you can watch some of that stuff. Um, but yeah, all good and it's nice to be back home. I was absolutely soaking wet at the game. So hopefully I can get a warm shower in as well. All right guys, so for dinner we have steak cooking with a little bit of uh, kind of fake butter because I can't have butter because I'm allergic to dairy. And then I'm gonna have a bowl of frozen blueberries and a banana. So just some fruit and some protein. I don't have any veggies left over. I might sift through some other stuff that I have in the fridge, but I've gotta go on a big shopping spree tomorrow. So I'll just do some simple stuff tonight. Just some protein and a little bit of carbs with the fruit. So that is it for dinner. I'm gonna chow down for a little bit and then I'll see you guys in a little while. Hey, what's up everybody? So I'm gonna sit in the boots for about an hour. It's getting pretty late. It's about 9.30 or 10 right now. So I'm gonna sit in the boots and then I actually might take a bath tonight. So hot Epsom salt bath. You can use magnesium salt, Epsom salt, whatever you feel works for you. Um, that's Epsom salt is something that has been working for me for many years now. So I use that with a hot bath, sitting there for about 40 minutes, 20 minutes to sweat everything out, and then 20 minutes to get that salt back in my my body so my muscles feel really good in the morning and then I'll probably go straight to bed after some reading so thanks so much for watching today's video guys hope you enjoyed it again pretty standard for a day post game especially because of the scheduling with my u11s game again shout out you guys that was an awesome win today and then the the women's game as well so pretty low-key um, but lots of recovery lots of massage therapy and just gonna hopefully feel great tomorrow for a workout in the gym so thanks so much for watching guys and as always be awesome i'll see you guys in the next one take care